Hey there, Alan from MindVisionMedia.net and once again I got another great tutorial for you for the WordPress responsive theme from Theme ID. Alright, I'm going to show you a really quick way to modify the comment section on your blog post uh, for your WordPress website. Um, basically, um, we're at my website here and if I went to one of my recent blog posts and let's say I want to read more on that and as you know you scroll down and there's a section here for people to post comments on your blog well normally it says leave a reply and that's just so dry so I'm gonna show you how to change that and put something more personable there um, you might want to change this message or you know like I did I put let Alan know what you think and I'm going to show you where that is. All right, you're going to have to get into your cPanel on your server, wherever your responsive WordPress theme is hosted. Okay, once you're in your um, file manager, you're going to concentrate on the file manager inside your host. And once you're in your public uh, folder, you want to go to WP Includes. Okay, and you want to look for this file right here comment dash template dot php okay that is comment dash template dot php okay that's all she wrote so we're going to go into that and we're going to do some editing uh, basically I already know where this section is located so you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom all the way down and first of all you want to click inside here press control A control C make a copy paste it into notepad or a text editor make a copy of your file and save it alright unless you're working on a child theme if you don't know about child themes you can check out my video tutorial on how to do a child theme for the responsive theme. Alright, so you should be working on a copy or your child theme. Scroll all the way to the bottom of your comment dash template dot php file and then just start slowly scrolling up. Okay, and boom, here's the section we want right here, really close to the bottom. And it's the ID form, ID submit, title, title reply to cancel reply link and label submit okay anytime you see this configuration of code right here it's dealing with a form and that's what we're dealing with a contact form which is used to post comments on your blog and normally it says leave a reply just like it says right here okay I changed this title right here to let Alan know what you think. Now I'll just change it to something else so that you can see this is where the edit is made. Okay, now I changed it to leave a really good reply. Alright, so I'm going to save that. It's refreshing. Okay, that's done. I'm going to jump back over to the post on my website. I had that title originally, and I'm going to refresh. And as you can see, now it says, leave a really good reply. Okay, so folks, that was just a quick, quick, quick <laughs> tutorial on how to change that okay I get a lot of questions about that so you want to go to your WP includes folder in WordPress and you want to go to your comment dash template dot PHP file make a copy of it or work on your child theme go to edit swing on down to the bottom scroll up slowly and you will find this section for the comment form right there okay and where it says 
leave a reply, put whatever you want. I'm going to change it back to what I had. Let Alan know what you think. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save that. It's saving. And it is done. So just refresh that server. Go back. Refresh my website. And there you go. Let Alan know what you think. Alright, so do that, by the way. Let me know what you think about my tutorials. Give me some likes, comments. If you have any other questions, you can contact me at mindvisionmedia.net. I'm here to help. I love this theme, and I want you to get up and running quick and smooth, okay? And not go through the hassles I did, bouncing around from forum to forum and, you know, having Greek thrown at me from every direction. I just want to um, make this theme very um, friendly for you. You don't have to be intimidated by it. It's a little confusing, but uh, once you get the hang of it, watch some of my tutorials, you'll be up and running in no time. Alright, so until next time, I'll talk to you later.